Guys, I lit a candle. You know shit's gonna get real when I light a candle. So I'm like back to beauty blogging and um, I'm gonna put some fairy lights in the background. I'm joking about that. I do have fairy lights around my headboard right now. I'm actually gonna show you that in a different video because right now they are, right now, they are, um, I kind of nailed them. It was a Christmas time and I just fell in love with them because they were easier than having a set of bedside tables. We don't have a lot of space on our bedsides. Um, so I put them around, but it's kind of a bit hodgepodge. And so I want, what I want to do is, is nail them to the back. So it's just a glow from behind the headboard. That was a random tangent, but that will come in a video soon. So today's video is going to be a favourites in a haul. I don't really want to just do a favourites because I feel like I just want to run through some stuff that I've been really enjoying. And if you want to hear more about certain things, then I'll do a routine or I'll do a get ready with me and show you some stuff in action. But I just kind of want to run through some stuff that I've been using recently. And then I just picked up some bits and pieces from uh, Boots. It's not really enough to be a haul on its own. And so we are combining the two. So we're going to kick off with some skincare because this is what I've been asked about a lot recently. Uh, I've been using the Pixi Glow Tonic. They actually sent me this at the beginning of the year, which is why it's got my name on it, um, which was very kind of them, but I hadn't used it in years, like years and years since before. You know when it used to have just, it used to just come in the labelless bottle um, and you couldn't buy it online. I purchased it from their London store when I went to IMAX. It might have even been like 2013. That's the last time I used it and I really enjoyed it, but it's a bit of a pain to get a hold of so I used other things and just forgot all about it. I've been really really enjoying it. I think it's been helping getting rid of some of that um, pigmentation that I've talked about in the past because I, I do tend to get quite a lot of acne scarring uh, when I have had breakouts they tend to stay with me for a while and then I do have some pigmentation from pregnancy so it definitely seems to be helping with that as well as the texture of my skin and since I am getting a little bit older I am very interested in these kind of peels and things that are supposed to do like amazing things for turnover. I'm going to move into retinol soon, I've decided. I've decided 32 is the year. Um, so if you've got any particular recommendations, because I haven't even looked into this yet, I'm all ears, because I don't really know anything about retinol. Uh, but on that kind of foot, I've also been using, I bought a ton of stuff from Kiehl's. Kiehl's have not sent me anything in this video. I purchased each of these things, which is painful, because they were all very expensive. Um, I bought this after getting a sample of it. This is the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Concentrate. Um, it's 12.5% vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Now, the hyaluronic acid, I understand how that works um, in helping to hydrate your skin and helping your skin to retain moisture, however, or hydration, whatever, liquid. Um, <laughs> I obviously don't know how it works. 12.5% vitamin C. As I understood, the, the vitamin C helps to brighten. Is that right? Either way, the thing that sold me on this was the texture of it. It's kind of like a silicone primer. It's really bizarre, but eventually it does absorb. And in my skin, in my skin, the next morning, in my skin, where was I even going with that? The next morning, uh, in the morning, my skin looks amazing. I don't use this every single day. I should to get the best results, but it was like 40 pounds. Have I still got the label on it? No, it's fallen off. It was so expensive for a tiny bottle, so I don't use it every single day. I use it pretty much every other day um, as a bit of a treat, but I, just, I cannot justify using that every single day because it was so expensive, but I really, really do enjoy it. Um, the creamy eye treatment with avocado, I was just on a bit of a kick. I think I hadn't spent a lot of money on makeup in a long time and I decided that I wanted to put a bit more into my skincare because it was just a little bit more important to me. I mean it is, but at the time I was kind of on that, you know, we go through phases. Um, and so I got this, this lasts forever. This I got in like, I want to say January time, end of, end of January, beginning of February, and it lasts really, really well. Um, eye cream I really struggle with because I don't know whether or not I see an instant result but it does feel really nice and anything that's a bit fun to use is going to encourage me to use it daily because I'm not great at keeping up with things which is why I can't take the contraceptive pill fun fact I would be so pregnant so quick I could never remember to take a pill every single day all power to those of you <laughs> that have got that kind of responsibility on your shoulders no, that is not for me. So eye cream is probably not going to go on my face daily, but because that's a bit interesting, it kind of goes tacky and then it goes almost to water in texture, um, I really, really like it. And I'm using it more often, so I do think it is making a difference. Lots of people say it's great, so I believe them and I'm using it. Um, the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Oil Free Lotion. This was like 20 something pound. Again, where have all these labels gone? Oh, 26 pounds. I think this is the first thing that I got because um, as is usually the way, I'm in London, I've got some time to kill at King's Cross Station, hanging out, the Kiehl's counter is there, it's usually something from Kiehl's, 
or an Urban Decay lip liner. That's kind of what I succumb to when I've got a lot of time to kill at King's Cross. Um, and when I've been traveling or when I've been in London, my skin is always so dehydrated. And I just feel, ugh. And I'll look in the mirror and think, you look terrible. So I tend to look for something. That's when I buy eye creams and moisturizers. They get me. Um, so I went in some, looking for something super hydrating. She gave me this and I was thinking, this is like so expensive. But I've used this loads. I've even used this kind of like down my neck and on my chest and it feels really, really great. This I see an almost immediate result with. And it's very um, liquid. I mean, it's not, it, it's kind of gel-like almost. And so it spreads a lot and you don't need a lot at all. This I could make last six months, I think. This is really way, way more worth the money. If you were gonna buy one of the things from Kiehl's and you just wanted to try the brand, I really like this. And it's such a blah product. It's not exciting in any way. Um, it's got a scent to it that also makes me think it's like antiseptic. I don't know whether it really is. Mm -mm, but it does say that it helps to leave a shine free, balanced appearance. I don't know, but there's definitely something that makes me feel like when I have been breaking out and I've used tons of stuff on my skin and I want to kind of just hydrate it with something, that's the thing that I want to use. But I've been pretty much using it every day. Um, the Cordelie Beauty Elixir, I'm almost all out of this, which makes me super sad. I bought this around my birthday, so the very beginning of February. I'm going to buy some more because I just love it so much. I'm just going to like, just a little bit. Just, just a little spritz that's the wrong way around. I just... Oh, I do love the scent so much, but... I also really, really like the product and I think when I use it, my skin does say clearer. I stopped using it because I hardly had any left and I broke out a ton. I don't know if those two things are related, but they feel like they are. The lip balm I've been using at night time is this, the um, Sol Janeiro Brazilian Kiss. Cupachu? Capauchu? I don't know how to say that. Um, lip butter. It's the, it smells... I For me, it's a very foody scent. I've got the, I think it's called the Boom Boom Cream, but let's, it says Bon Bon Cream. I've got that, it smells amazing. It smells a lot like the Ombre Vanille stuff from Laura Mercier, um, but you feel almost like it's actually gonna do something <laughs> to tighten and firm your skin. And so it's worth the cash. It's not quite a luxurious feeling, um, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel like if it's got something in it that it says it's gonna do, it's almost worth the cash. I know that's not true, but this is inside my consumer mind. Um, so in, in theory, this is the same scent, but it's not. It's a way more foody scent. It smells like biscuits or cake or something. I don't love the scent of this. I don't love the scent of this, but I really, really like the texture of it and it's a big thing. So at night time, I'm just like, mm, all over my mouth, quick, done. Um, and I really, really have been enjoying that. So that's kind of my skincare routine right now. I know I didn't include my cleanser, but that's been here, there and everywhere. I'm using a Balance Me cleanser right now that I quite like, a hot cloth cleanser. Um, However, they are like my main skincare things. Although when I do need an extra little bit of something, this has been big. And this has actually been great for Milo because he's been um, very, very sore under his nose. I don't know what it is. Lots of people suggested various things in my previous videos when I've mentioned this, that he has just got a constant runny nose. And we think it might be an allergy. It might be like an ear, nose, throat situation because he's always got stuff wrong with his ears or his nose or his throat. We think it's connected. At one point he had an appointment and we cancelled it because we thought he was fine. I think we need to rebook that appointment. Um, but this was really great because when it gets very, very sore, he won't have anything on it because it stings. And this was amazing. It's an oil, it's an all over miracle oil from Elizabeth Arden. It's the eight hour formula. I've mentioned it before. When my skin is breaking out massively, like recently, I kind of forgot about this because it was in Milo's bedroom. And so I used a ton of things that would help dry up all the breakouts. And um, it was, but obviously then I'm dealt with like still spotty skin and it's also dehydrated and dry and horrible looking so it's hard to cover it up with makeup it's a bit of a nightmare and then I remembered about this last night um picked it up and I thought this is so good I'm gonna have to mention it again so I, I haven't been without it for very long at all it's just in the past week or so when I have been breaking out I could have done with it and it just wasn't in my eye line so I forgot about it it's just great very very hydrating and it really does help with breakouts actually somehow diminishes them as well as helping kind of the skin once you've got rid of them and it's dry as well it's just a bit of a miracle have a couple of makeup things to share uh, the first one is this charlotte tilbury color chameleon amber haze which looks like it's just the most beautiful color look at that oh and then it blends out really nicely too the only thing with this is it does really quite crease and so it does need a decent primer underneath it but for a one step quick smoky eye it's amazing in fact I did a blog post about some one step smoky eyes that I would highly recommend if you're into that kind of thing check that out um and the Urban Decay lip liner in Weirdo which I wear a ton 
I just have been completely enamoured of lip liners. I moved kind of from the matte and the liquid lip to a lip liner a while ago. I really liked that transition. I'm now kind of transitioning back into more sheer balmy lipsticky kind of things. They are more forgiving, they do look more flattering, but I do like a lip liner. I think the thing about liquid lips and lip liners that always got me was that you could get that you know, the fake Kylie Jenner lip type situation, but you can't achieve that just wearing a lip liner. I love the overdrawn lip, I love it. Uh, and the other makeup thing that I've been using loads is this Becca palette with Chrissy Teigen, which I believe is still available. Hopefully I can find you a link online. I won't link to everything, but the stuff that I think is kind of, well, I'll see, I'll see what I can do. This is like a daily vlogging situation, guys. I'm to the wire with being able to, <laughs> to get all of this stuff together for every single day. Um, but I've been so enjoying this. I like everything in this, everything, which is, it never happens. I never thought I was gonna be able to like use these two. I thought they were just a bit out there. I bought it because I love Chrissy Teigen. I do love Becca, but I, I'm like, I didn't even think I would use the bronzer, shimmery bronzer, but it's just got a glow. I'm wearing it today, although I did put it on probably seven hours ago. I haven't touched up my makeup at all, apart from my lipstick, which is new, which I think is amazing, and this is equally as amazing. Oh, a makeup thing that I forgot about. The Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. I've spoken about this in Get Ready With Me video type things recently. <laughs> Get Ready With Me's sound wrong, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, this is great. I think I've been using too much of it because I've run out super fast. It's difficult to know how much to put on. Um, but I like this more than any other silicone primer that I've used. It's It's got the same, it does the same thing as a silicone primer, but it doesn't feel as greasy and silicone-y. Um, I just really, really enjoy it, so I would definitely recommend that and I would purchase it again. And the last thing, the last favourite, is this, which I thought I'd lost. I did a big declutter, end of last year I think it was, and I put this in a basket and it went way, way back into my wardrobe. No idea what it was, I was bereft. I nearly bought another one because it's, apparently it's been discontinued. It's Givenchy Play Intense, and I've got like that much left as well, so it's really quite upsetting. I'm gonna just, just spritz a little bit. I love it so much, and weirdly, it reminds me of the beginning of YouTube because I used to work in Meadow Hall. I used to work at the Urban Decay counter very briefly, and I was next to the Givenchy counter. That was me, Elizabeth Arden, Givenchy, and Girlam. We were like a little quad in the old Meadow Hall setup. For those of you, like it was way back when we used to be near the brow girls and the shoes um, and Urban Decay is way in the front now. Much easier to sell from that position in the store. Um, but I used to be next to them and I used to go and spray it all the time. It was that and Lady Million but the Givenchy one I loved so much and I think it was like 70 or 80 pounds at the time. Just I just didn't have that kind of disposable cash. I think when I eventually got it we were going to Vegas and Lee got me it duty free and it's one of my absolute favourite perfumes of all time. I love it. And I think I am going to have to try and get my hands on another bottle before you can't get them anymore because it lasts a long time. It's a very, it's a nighttime fragrance. I'm not even going to attempt. It's very musky. Um, but I love that so much. Right, let's move on to my mini hauls. So the first thing, and the reason that I wanted to include the haul in the video is what I wanted to show you this. This is a new lip product from YSL. The packaging is here. It's called the Volupte Liquid Colour Balm. And the colour I've got is two in Expose Me Rose. Love this. It's so comfortable. I'm trying to look in the mirror now. Oh, it's so comfortable. You know when you see pictures of people who've got really naturally full lips and they just look like bitten, like just stained, but it's not a stain. It's a balm, so it does wear away. Oh, this is gorgeous. I don't know how well the very, very bright colours will wear, but this is absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad I bought it. I have just bought it, but whatever. I got some of these because I'm running out because I've been using my Pixi Glow Tonic all the time. Oh, because I bought two things from, I bought two things from YSL and I did a really good job with the points. Because I already had this thing with like 500 points if you spend over 50 pounds. And I spent more than that because the YSL lady got me. I don't even know how much these things were. I'm looking now. Ah, oh, ouch. Okay, so the balm is 26 pounds. That hurts. That hurts, right? You can just, you can just feel it. Um, so I got 500 points for spending over 50 pounds. I got 150 points for something else that I purchased, I don't even know, that was a, a bonus. And then a thousand points for buying two things from YSL. They owed me that thousand points because the other thing I bought was 35 pounds. This is painful, let's just throw that away like it never happened. So the other thing I got from YSL was the Touche Clay, Touche Claire, whatever. The um, foundation, and the foundation color I got was Cool Almond. I've wanted to try this for ages. 
And so when she said there was an offer, I was like, oh, I'm just going to get it because I've wanted it for ages. I haven't really bought any um, new makeup for a while, uh, which is what I said in the Superdrug video. And I did need a new foundation. I kind of got in there thinking I was going to purchase my double wear again. And um, I thought, I'll just try it. I'll try it for summer. I'll try it. Um, I got some more deodorant because I ran out of deodorant and we share it, Lee and I. So we use men's deodorant. That's mostly because I don't like women's deodorant. So we got some more of that. Um, so what was I going to say? Oh yeah, we got some samples because I spent so much money on YSL. So we got some perfume samples in there. Um, and also a tiny sample of some primer, which I don't even know how I'm going to get out of that glass jar, but sure. It's like a sparkly primer. I got some stuff for Ella. Um, well, this is for both of us, and we're going to use it after this because I'm desperate to try this because it's green. I got the Matcha Detox Pure Active Pore Unclogging Mask. Mm -hmm. It's a green mask. It's like 80s masks. So, yeah, I'm totally going to make her take a picture of wearing that because I think it's super cute. But I'm thinking that might be really good. I'll do this, then I'll do a proper scrub and then really intensely oil and treat my face because it is super dry right now. Um, and then I got her, where's the other thing gone? No idea. Um, I got her the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I got 118. I think that's the colour that I've got. I don't know if it's going to be pale enough, too pale, but it's 6 .99. I don't think that's too expensive for foundation. It's a great foundation. Um, which I was actually using this morning. I thought I was still filming from this morning. I was gonna say, like I said earlier in the video, no, this is hours later. So I'm wearing this today, um, mixed with my double wear, which was recommended to me and was fantastic. This is, the wear time is like seven hours or something. Um, so I got her this because she'd run out of foundation and I got her my favorite Maybelline Age Rewind, Instant Age Re Eraser, whatever it's called, concealer. I read it and then instantly said it differently. And I got that in light. So I've got her those two things because she needed some new makeup. I also got her this, which is what helps her with her breakouts. And this, as soon as she stops using it, she breaks out, which could be swings and roundabouts. I know for a while people said that the Clinique three-step system was kind of a bit of a con because they were making your skin reliant on it. And so when you stopped using it, you would break out again. Mm, I can kind of see how, how that's a genius evil plan. Um, but if this works for her, that's fine by me because it worked for me and I thought this was great. So she asked for that again because she'd run out. Um, the last thing I got was this, because as I said in a previous video, I actually had run out of all of my mascaras because I got rid of tons. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, haven't got any. So I used to love this. Hopefully, yes it is. I'll say hopefully it's still sealed because I didn't check. But I used to love this and, um, hopefully I'll love it again. I got it in brown. That was a mistake. But that is everything. They're all my favourites, all my new stuff. Kind of all up to date. Consider us kind of like we've drawn a line in the sand. From here on out, it's all fresh. We've kind of, we've com we've completely updated at this point. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you liked the mix, because I'm kind of getting into, um, I kind of think sometimes certain videos can be a bit blah. Um, and so combining two could be slightly more interesting, but let me know what you think. I know last time I tried to do that, people were like, no, please no, we want empties on their own. Uh, and at the rate that I'm using some stuff up, there will be another empties video very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe. I am vlogging every single day. Not vlogging in like a daily vlogging thing, but I am uploading a video every single day in April. So if you don't want to miss that, don't forget to subscribe click that notification bell or click that notification bell wherever it is um, and while you're here check out some other content there's thousands of videos that I've uploaded to the internet for your viewing pleasure I hope you enjoy them and I will see you guys tomorrow